In this video, I'll review options for sharing a presentation. I'm going to go to the Slideshow tab of my ribbon. Over in the Start Slideshow group, you have the option to present online. So I'm going to click on that and from there choose Office Presentation Service. Office Presentation Service is free for anyone who is using Office. One of the options that you have in this first dialog box is you can also let viewers download the presentation through the service. I'm simply going to click Connect. My file has now been uploaded and the next dialog box gives me options for inviting participants. I can copy the link and I could put it in my local email or if I was using Outlook, I could click the Send an Email button to automatically generate an email invitation to the presentation. I'm going to click Copy Link, and then I'll click the Start Presentation button. The presentation opens in full screen mode, and now I want to see this in my browser. So I'm going down to my menu button at the lower left. I'll go to screen, click, and choose show taskbar. And now I'll bring up my browser. I'm pasting the link into the address field. And here the presentation is opened in my browser. So now I'll come back to PowerPoint. I'm going to end the slideshow. In my ribbon, I have a contextual present online tab that is active. So to end the presentation, I'll click the end online presentation button. Then click end online presentation. Other options to be aware of when sharing a file. If you've used non-standard fonts, PowerPoint gives you the ability to embed those fonts in your presentation. To embed a font, go to the File tab of your ribbon, go to the list on the left and click on Options. In the dialog box, go over to the list on the left and click on Save. Down at the bottom, you'll now see that you have a checkbox to embed the fonts in the file. One word of caution, if you embed fonts in the file, it's going to take much longer for your file to save. So this is something that you would want to do only at the very end when you're pretty sure that you're not going to be making any more changes. Also, not all fonts will embed. TrueType fonts will embed. But if you're using other kinds of fonts, such as Adobe OpenType, they may not embed. If you do check on Embed Fonts and Files, you get two choices to embed only the characters that have actually been used in the file or to embed the entire font. I'm going to uncheck Embed Fonts on File and click Cancel. Up next, we'll be looking at ways of securing your presentation, and I'll be back with another video.